Okay. Hey guys, so Marla's here and we are going to do a hair transformation. It's not going to be crazy, but I want to take you through the process of her hair color. And as you can see, her color is faded. It still looks very gorgeous. You know, it's an ombre effect, but um, we want to find out what Marla wants to do. Your color, you have a probably like a level four on your hair and then it kind of gets a little bit lighter. Brown that you have on your hair is a very flat brown. Okay. Do you want it to be warmer or do you want it to be still like a cool brown? I think, I don't know what the lingo is for this, but I think whatever will be easiest to okay. keep up. So whatever is closest to my natural okay. hair. And I'm gonna show you swatches too right now. So I'm gonna, gonna show Marla the swatches right here. Okay. The color we are thinking right here. Okay. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna, you know, continue draping her and then I'll tell you guys what I'm mixing and why, okay? Ooh. All right, so I got my gloves to protect. And we're going to use the Schwarzkopf um, Igora Royal, the new tones. This is like a new color line that they created, which is beautiful. And this is a 446, which is going to match her base color. And I'm just going to squeeze out. I'm going to first do a little at a time. So we're just going to do half of the two. Okay, so we're going to use Zero Developer from Pravana to just really make sure that this color just eats into her light um, hair color that we have. And I like to just measure with my eyeball, and I'm going to do about equal mixture. And I'm going to mix it first. You can see it should be kind of like a yogurt. Yeah, yogurt. Perfect. I just had yogurt this morning. <laughs> That's what it reminded me of. And then after you mix it, then you put Olaplex. So I really love Olaplex. What it does, it's a bond multiplier. So whenever you use any chemical service, whether you're coloring lighter or going darker, your bonds break. So this is an amazing product. Actually started in Santa Barbara where we met. Marlon, and I met. Oh, cool. Olaplex has only been around for a couple years and I'm only going to use a little bit. So I'm squeezing it. You see it coming out and then I'm going to pour it in there. And you always want to pour it after you actually mix the color because then it evenly gets into the formulation. All right, so I'm gonna mix in the same bowl. We're gonna do her roots and we're gonna just kind of change up the developer so that it kind of lifts just a touch so it has that vibrancy on her um, base color. I'm gonna use the Schwarzkopf Blonde Me, the 2% um, seven volume. I'm gonna do equal mixture. Why do you use the, what does the Blonde Me mean? Oh, so that's just actually the same brand, but I use a 7 developer versus a 0 because we use 0 on your uh, light parts of your hair to just deposit only. Gotcha. So this is going to deposit as well, but I'm going to actually splash a little bit of 20 developer. This won't make sense to the general public, but I want to lift it just a little bit so that her... And lift it, like make it lighter or darker? So it's going to make it like barely brighter, sorry. So you have that like chocolatey color because mm -hmm. your hair color is very flat mm -hmm. so we need to like just give it a little bit of vibrancy so it's like barely lifting so you won't even notice it mm -hmm. but it's just going to make your hair color look more alive <laughs> Olaplex and I'm going to mix that in and then we're going to apply this from the base which is the root to the mid okay okay so I just put in all the color on Marla's hair and so we're just gonna let it process for a good like 30 minutes. And then as you can see, there's some color on her ears and hairline. So I'm actually gonna remove it with this. And this is called Dyes Off Lotion. It removes color stains. Kira, can you say hi? <laughs> so Kira came to join us too. Okay, so I'm gonna put a cap on Marla's hair because you wanna keep her color super saturated and you want to keep it from drying out. We're going to put this on for like 30 minutes. <laughs> she looks so pretty. <laughs> and then I'm going to remove some color around her ears and her hairline. Mommy. Yes. <laughs> and Kira's behind me in my skirt. So we are now rinsed with our hair. We're going to use the Olaplex number two on Marla's hair. I'm 
so she is just processing and letting this number two sit in for about five minutes and then we're going to rinse it out. We just washed Marla's hair and we're going to start cutting it. <laughs> So I'm going to use actually dry texturizing spray for her teasing and I sectioned out her hair kind of like two thirds up which is from temple to temple and I have a teasing comb right here and this is from Cricut. This is friction free so it won't cause any like you know static which is most important. Use her, her spray and use texturizing spray whatever you love. I'm giving her more texture because I feel like this is going to create more of that um, feel to her hair where it has, I don't know, yeah, it grips better. Yeah, but hairspray works just as fine. There's no true correct way of parting it, but I feel like when you do it in sections, it's a lot easier to build. You always want to start from the under, the bottom to the top. Okay, and tension, so I always do it kind of like 90 degrees from the scalp. Okay, squish, squish. You can squish it as much as you want in the sense of like how much height you're trying to create. So wherever the teasing is, I'm doing about an inch right now. So this is a corner. Okay, so this is the corner I'm creating right here. So there's no gap. This part is an important part. So what we're gonna do is start starting from the top. We're just gonna kind of use it as a comb. We're just gonna bring it back and comb it out a little bit. We're gonna comb it to the height that we really want for Marla. So here we are finished with Marla's hair. What do you guys think? Turn your hair. Look how shiny and vibrant that is. Thank you guys for watching and be sure to go to Marla's channel. I have it, I'll have a link below in my description box and you'll see our vlog together. Thank you guys. Bye.